Hi everyone. This is Deb and it's May 1st, uh, 2018. And this is the first day of a collaboration I'm in uh, that is hosted by Jan's Crazy Life. But there's like, I forget, I think it's like 30 of us in the collaboration. And what it is, is just that you have to craft every day in the month of May. Now, I probably will not be posting videos every day. I'll try to, but um, I may do every couple days or once a week if I get really busy, busy, because um, it takes a while to video and edit and whatnot. So anyway, my first day is a little bit of a small project because, um, well, and I should elaborate that it doesn't have to be a completed project every day. You just have to craft every day. But I'm trying to make it be some kind of completed project every day because I'm also in hashtag DWPB, Dances with Pitbulls, 100 Things Challenge. So anyway, back in March, in the other collab I had with Jan's Crazy Life, which was one paper pad, I had on the final day, um, final video on that, I had started four ATC's cards, but I never did anything with them. So originally today I was going to make cards, but um, some things came up today and it took longer than I thought and I was exhausted after all that. So anyway, I decided to do something with the ATC's because I'm also late getting four envelopes of goodies out to people and they have to get out in the morning. So these are going to go in those goodie packages along with some other goodies. So let me just go through them. Okay, what I had done is um, the backing was an ATC card out of this pack and then the paper, this paper was the Susan Wingate paper. So that's all I had done before and then this one is edged in um, gold sharpie permanent marker around the edges. So I stamped with this little, um, I think this was Dollar Tree, pretty sure, this little hello stamp and I used my gold um, color box um, cat's eye metallic stamp, but it didn't show up real good so I actually went over it with that same gold sharpie marker. Um, then in the background here, I had this stencil and it's um they're at Michael's this Finnabar Finna Finna Bear Finna Bear Flowers on the Deck it's called. I didn't use the stamps but I did use this stencil and I took this Ranger Distress Oxide Vintage Photo and and this thing only it's on the bottom. <laughs> um and where am I here? And I just did the corner flower. This sticker is um, from Dollar Tree. It was in a pack like that and um, the butterfly and I thought the yellow went well. The fabulous was a Dollar Tree gold sticker. These little flowers I had in my stash. I'm not sure if they're Dollar Tree or not. And also that same stamp set. I use this little trio of flowers and Memento Dandelion ink. I'm sorry this thing is auto-focusing again. And I stamped here, 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 and here. And then the leaf, the solid leaf, I used the Memento Pear Tart. And I just put two. We can't see one of them because it, it's kind of under the butterfly. Um, and then I had one piece of blue ribbon that I had cut from something else. So I just tied a bow and glued that on there. And that is that one. Then this one, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but the, um, I used that same stencil and the vintage photo again. And I did the whole card there because it, this card was all like just, um, written, um, cream colored paper with like writing vintage writing on it it also has the gold marker around the edges but I didn't know what kind of sentiment I wanted to put on and I remembered I had this sheet of 
um, it's by American Crafts. It's called The Color of Memories. And it's all like cut apart. I think I have two sheets of that in my stash. So I cut this one out that said hello. And I use these um, um, fancy shears that uh, Live to Learn Dana had gifted me. Thank you, Dana. And I just kind of went all cattywampus around the edges because I, I don't know what it is with me. I love the way the torn paper looks, but I just can't bring myself to tear it and make it look right. I don't know. So anyway, this one had this little envelope with hello on it. I did take some glaze pen to the center of the yellow flowers and went out them a little bit and those dots. I took a blue glaze pen here and an orange one here and on those. I had these three little black flower and butterflies left in my stash and I thought they went with the black background. But then I was like, okay, what am I going to do with this side? And I just decided when I was getting the glaze pens out, I had this, um, pretty sure this was Dollar Tree also. This, it's not washy. I don't know what it's just decorative tape and it's gold and bubbly. And I didn't want to cover up the background too much, but I just put some across the top. I had these little off ray bows. So I put one of them on and then another, um, bling flower and those are by um oops, ah. those are by Kay and company that i had gotten it to tuesday morning for 49 cents i wish i had bought more of those jewel flower adhesives but anyway um because i'll never find them again <laughs> Um, so anyway, I'm using my stash, guys. Oh, and I, um, I decoupage that on, and that actually, um, the Mod Podge, it was the matte, um, yeah, Mod Podge matte, and that was from the Dollar Tree, that bottle of it, which actually those bottles are fine, but anyway, I put it on the back of the paper and then I decoupaged over the top and let it dry before I put these other blings on but that actually sort of made the um, vintage photo blur a little bit but I actually kind of like that so that is the second one why is this so blurry maybe because there's too much stuff I don't know why is that so blurry huh sorry guys I don't know what's going on this is my webcam and I'm not used to it then the next two were the Susan Wingett the butterfly paper and I thought what am I going to do with those but they were on background papers too so actually let me start with this one because I had that same piece of blue ribbon this is all that was left of it was enough to go down these two sides so I did um, and I put a Jolie's dragonfly in there a Dollar Tree wonderful and two sugar dots in the blue up here and then I thought well and a, and a couple um, Susan Wingett butterfly stickers the puppy stickers there's one down here in the corner, which is you can't see it right now because the, the sequins are sticking on it. Um, I think that's the only one I put on this one. It was right down here in the corner. It's a blue one. And I just had these little baggies, and I thought, well, they're the perfect size, but I didn't like the whole fold over. So I did get out my fuse tool and um, fused it along this one side, but I left it a little open and just made it into a little shaker so that's that one and then i decided to do one in pink so i had similar pink offre ribbon with sparkle on the edges but that one i just put a piece across the top i put a pink dragonfly on uh, a puffy susan wingett sticker with a butterfly and flower on it a tiny little susan wingett butterfly here and like I said, that dragonfly and the word smile. And I just used pink, two shades of pink um, sequins and did the same finish. I'm not very good with a fuse tool, so forgive the messiness there. <laughs> but that is my project for day one, craft every day. Um, and these will be going out in the, in the mail tomorrow. 
um, along with some other goodies to the four David V collab people, two from last week, two from this week. So I am really late and I'm sorry, but they are going out tomorrow, which is Wednesday, May 2nd. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I will try and take pictures because I know this is a little blurry and I don't know why. Um, but I'll try and take pictures for you so you can see them better. Plus we have glare there. Maybe that's better. There you go. Um, so yeah, enjoy your day. I, um, I will have a link below to all the other members of the collab. Um, they may not all be posting every day and some are posting on YouTube and Instagram, some just Instagram, some in a Facebook group. And I believe Jan has that all split out to where we'll all be posting. So check everybody out and, um, make sure you subscribe to everyone if you're not already so that you can see what wonderful things they create. Okay, guys. All right. Hugs, love, and peace. And I'll see you as soon as I can. Probably tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye for now.